Imagine spending hours, days, weeks scripting, developing and coding your game. But what if, what if you could do it in just days or even just in a few hours without having to do any of that? This is where Lemonade comes in. With the power of AI, you can develop, script and create a whole game with just prompts that you give it. Let's explore, shall we? Setting up Lemonade is fairly easy. It only takes four steps to start using it. I'll link their Discord in the description below. Firstly, go to their website and sign up with your Roblox account. Next, download their plugin. Next up, create a project with whatever name you want. Then load up Roblox Studio and connect your Lemonade plugin with your Roblox Studio. Just like that, you're ready to go. Before we start, I just want to say that I have never made, created or scripted a game in my life. Bruh. But here are my main three objectives on what I'll try to do with the AI only. I want my game to have some functioning feature, like a teleporter. I understand it's very basic, but keep in mind, I have no clue what I'm doing. My next objective is that I want to try to make an animation. I don't even know how to animate, so I'll see if A I can do it for me. And lastly, I want to see if I can actually make an actual functioning game. You'll see how that turns out. What the hell? Oh my god! And it definitely didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be. With that out of the way, let's begin with just trying to put our first prompt. I can't believe I wasn't even bothered making a ball pot, neon and red, and the little information I provided. I hope this makes you guys understand how little I knew in creating games. Here's a quick time lapse of me going through YouTube tutorials on certain subjects, until, at the end, I finally decided to place a ball to try to tell the AI what to do with the ball and where I placed it. I don't really want to waste your time, so here's sort of what it all lead up to. As you can see, the red neon ball wasn't following anyone and the feature wasn't working. So I gave up with this one. After this, I decided I wanted to try to make a Minecraft game with an infinite generating map. Unfortunately, it didn't really understand what I meant with generating props that connected each other. I think it might have been too laggy or too intensive. So after all that, I just had to go back to my first project. In between all these fails, I had even more fails, like they were horrible, and so I deleted them all, and instead of instantly going for the coding, I've decided to make the map first. The only games I really played that required building was Blokat and Bahasov. Those who know are legends, so I just had to do what I always did, make checkered floors. Huh? Is this After looking back at it, it looked a bit ugly. I decided to add some pillars for some reason. I also wanted the walls just to be transparent parts, so that you could see the battle, if you couldn't tell. I want my game to be like Blade Ball. Blade Ball seemed like a good game to try to recreate, but I understood that it wouldn't be easy to do. I also wanted to make a portal so that you could teleport to the stadium to bounce balls at each other with other people. Okay, that sounded a bit weird, but you get the point. Another thing that you guys may not know is that I've only ever played Blade Ball twice at max. I really just couldn't think of another game to try to recreate. Even one that was more simple, as I've never created a game in my life. As you can see, I decided to make the portal from scratch. I wanted to use this gap filler tool I had for some reason. But for some reason, it didn't work for one I found on the toolbox marketplace. At the end, it still didn't work, and I just had to do it slowly but surely. Soon later, I wanted to make it an evil type of vibe to it. Sort of like Halloween, even though it's not even Halloween and we still have a few months to go, soon later. I found out that the map didn't fit the vibe, and so I decided to scrap the checkered flooring and go for an island. I know right, so original. 
At this point, I decided to take a break, until I came back just a few hours later to continue working on it. I'll speed this part up even faster as I mainly just take parts from the asset I stole. I mean, took from the toolbox marketplace, because bro, it's just free real estate. Who wouldn't take assets from where they can get without having to do any of the effort? I decided to change the skybox and take the bushes off the tree and made the trees darker. I also decided to use the rocks and pillars to float around the map to create an ominous vibe to it. I don't know but it sort of worked. After all that, it all looped back all around. I had to go back to Lemonade to try to code the ball. After all that experience, which was about two hours of writing prompts, here is what I've came up with for my first one with my newest creation. It genuinely wasn't that bad. As you can see it worked. So that's my first objective completed. Now I just have to make the blocks transparent and non-collide. So when you go through the teleporter, you end up to somewhere random on the map. With that out the way, I felt like something was missing with the blade ball game, the bat itself. So what did I do? I just took one from the toolbox marketplace and watched a 5 minute video on how to turn an asset into a tool. Boom! And just like that I made the bat, but now I need to make an animation on swinging the bat. But I don't know how to, so let's tell Lemonade how to do it. As you can see, I put a prompt in about the metal bat that I put in the starter pack, so when you spawn, you get the bat, so I can test it more easily. Later on I will change this so that you won't get it when you spawn in. The animation looks a bit goofy, but the fact that AI did that is pretty impressive. The angle that the bat moves at is a bit much, so I'll decrease it in the script later. I found it very easy changing the scripts as well, as the AI labels everything what each code does. I don't know if that's something that every scripter does. Now thinking about it, that is probably what they do. But still, it's very useful. I fixed the bat issue, and now I need to work on the ball. And let me tell you, this is when it all went downhill. I had no clue what to do, as all the previous prompts I've done hadn't worked. With that, I turned to their Lemonade Discord, linked in the description below. There's tons of helpers and people that will help you out. Loads are sharing their ideas, prompts and even their games. I mean, look at this guy's block game that he shared. Look how high quality and cool it looks. I wish I could make a game like that. If you want to make a game using AI, but don't know how to, turn to their Discord as it helped me out as well link in description. With everything that I have gained throughout this whole experience is that I have completely learned nothing except for the fact that either I have a skill issue in writing prompts or that the AI is still going through beta stages and that it hasn't gotten to its full potential. I think it might be both. Anyways the ball itself wasn't working at all and I decided to get help from the discord server from this kind man called Civ Knife. Cool guy, he helps everyone from what I've saw in the server. He also made that cool game I previewed for a little bit back there. I don't even know why, but I should have done something with the bat. For example, I should have made the bat collidable when someone left clicks and hits something. Or deal damage at least to someone else to add more factors into the game. So instead of only worrying about the ball, you have to worry about people killing you. Don't know, but maybe you guys can take inspiration from my horrible ideas. The guy also recommended me using this feature on Roblox Studio, where you can play as two characters as this game was meant to be for multiplayer, so for more than one person. Unfortunately it didn't work like usual. The ball wouldn't move. I don't know why, but everything I tried wouldn't work. It's a bit ironic because I literally A took a whole prompt from the Discord server from someone else, and it didn't work for me. Maybe because they put prompts after, but who knows. I still don't think I would be able to even make the same thing he says that it made even if he tells me every prompt that the person does. I also decided to add a bit of gambling in, so I took a chest from the toolbox, of course, and I made it so that you can spin a wheel, I made it so that you can gamble. I'm just kidding, I didn't even know how to. 
I also decided to make this premium spin. I don't even know why. Anyways, I also decided to tell the AI to make this sprint system with stamina. It's pretty good. When you hold sprint, it only decreases the stamina when you move, and the color changes when it becomes lower. After all this time, I knew it was it was coming to an end. I had ran out of time making a, this video. So unfortunately, I'll be ending it here. If you want to see another video of me continuing to use Lemonade, let me know. I'm sorry if I disappointed you guys watching till the end. If you really want to see someone use it, watch this guy on the screen right here. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I hope to make more content soon. Peace out.